Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today I found out that there was an unboxing NDA for the new RX 7900 XT and the RX 7900 XTX. Uh, I found out about half an hour ago. I've been so focused on actually benching and getting every, all of the testing done, I missed that fact. So I'm now hurriedly making you a video. Now I'm gonna make it about aesthetic so we can have a good look around these cards, but also the fact I'm lucky enough to have the XFS Merc, XFX Merc 310 Black Edition here as well. So we can have a good look on, uh, at these, but there is a lot more technical specifications. There's all kinds of other stuff and photos and technical breakdowns not taken apart, but looking at the specs on the website, because I've not written that, I had to get Mark to help me with it because I just didn't have time. And... <laughs> And we're also going to have a good look at the XFX with its funky brace that runs all the way along it. It's three fans, it's quite big and chunky, but it also feels really familiar and nice. And the fact that we have AMD back with big graphics cards and uh, an XFX Merc just puts a smile on my face. So, let's get down and dirty. Now, as I said, I wanted to make this about aesthetic. So we'll do the AMDs first, because at first glance, the cards do look very, very similar. But there is a very small difference in that the smaller of the two on the right hand side is the XT, and then the XTH is ever so slightly larger. But when you look a little bit closer into it as well, the side of the card is slightly different. So you can see that the Radeon there uh, is printed, whereas the Radeon here is cut out, and that's where the light is. And you can see underneath. But then when we peel it off of this one, what you can see is the Radeon there is printed, but then you've got the light section there and another light section down the back. Now, the fan sizes are ever so slightly different as well to obviously allow for the extra PCB height. Now, a lot of you out there will be very, very glad about the fact that there are two eight pins, but that's been widely, widely spoken about, about that they didn't want to use a 12, um, yeah, the 12 plus four pin, whatever you want to call it. But I said I wanted to make this about aesthetics, and I'm actually quite happy in that these cards are making me think Batman all over again. Uh, the, uh, the old kind of 7900s that we would have had way back in the day had a very kind of similar kind of Batman-y swoopy heatsink or, or shroud, whatever you want to call it. And the angular motion of this with the red flashes is very much making me think Batman again and I really like it. Now, yes, I know a lot of the NVIDIA fanboys are going to be shouting at the screen and saying that, you know, NVIDIA's machine cooler is so much more expensive and so much nicer but with all due respect like do you really want to spend four hundred dollars on a, a shroud and everything I have, it, it's completely up to you at the end of the day i like the black understated nature of this with the small red detailing the fact that the back plate isn't completely flat as well you can see it tapers down at the end and that's why I'm kind of thinking Batmobile kind of vibes again with this I like the fact it's not just a rectangle they've spent some time even the heat sink if you look cuts in at the edges and it is just very very pretty now that's the bigger of the two cards when we come on to the smaller of the two cards it doesn't have that cut in that angular kind of aesthetic. It's more then down to the shroud than anything else. So the uh, XT, the cheaper of the two, does, the more you dig into it, feel like they may have just saved that money on the cooler itself. Because I'm not sure whether I meant to say, but um, the MSRPs, blah, 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 Baby one's going to be eight nine nine, and this one's going to be nine nine nine, so less than a thousand pound. And we we kind of know that they're aiming them at the forty eighty as well, so it's they're both cheaper. But I obviously I'm not allowed to talk about performance or anything yet. It's just aesthetics. Round the back, display port, display port, single HDMI, and then a USB C. So. 
that is that. But now I really do want to talk to you about the XFX. Okay, so the XFX does feel very, very familiar. The way that the uh, three fans on the front is just, it, 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 it's just a, a nice, calming, welcoming place to be. I say that because I've obviously had worked with a lot of these cards over the years and it does, it just has that XFX vibe to it. Love the fact that they kept the XFX logo, just white, very subtle at the end. And then there's no anything like major else to really report. The black on it looks like it could be unscrewed very easily. So I think we could pull that off and we could paint that without too much of a problem. I kind of do wish they had done the back plate, which is quite nice, it's got all those lines in it, but I do feel that, or I wish that they'd done that black rather than that, and just left that very subtle uh, silver line around the fans and around the outsides. It's a big old card, but the other side of it that I did want to talk to you about today is it does come with this bracket, which then makes it stick out even further, but thankfully the angular part of the card here is also mimicked down the angle of the bracket but it goes right the way along the card and it's difficult to show because of lighting and stuff but it is there and it is but it's underneath the actual card mount itself they do also send it with longer screws for you to be able to screw into your case which is actually a really nice touch so it does come with a uh, BIOS switch. I'm still trying to find out from them which one's which, just so that I can uh, make a really big play for it. Because I've only been um, uh, doing like some very basic runs, and I've not got round to chasing the changing the switch on it yet. Does have three eight pins on it, so it's got the possibility of uh, pulling more power. One of the things that we did uh, see from AMD was they were saying 750 watt power supply for that one and at least an 800 watt power supply for that one, which I don't think is like too bad. This one, as I said, has three eight pins up here. The heat sink on the back or the back plate, whatever you want to call it, you can see it is actually quite a thick piece of aluminium, which runs all the way along and it's got those ridges on it. Again, it just feels really quite nice. Big, big heat sink, heat sink section along the side though. But all in all, very XFX, very Merc. So yes, a very quick look around for you today because if I'm completely honest, I actually want to get the testing done so we can look at performance data next week and us doing a little unboxing like this is only really going to be about aesthetics and me reading off of a spec list anyway and there's going to be a hundred other videos about that so that's why I've kind of focused more on the XFX uh, but obviously we need to know the baseline performance with these before we move on to big possible big overclocky cards like that so lots of niceness today big thanks to XFX for getting that to me for launch. Uh, I think it arrived yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. But I have been busy with these and I have been very busy with these as well. I've got some uh, interesting stuff to come for you for next week, which is why I do need to bid you farewell and move on. Please like, subscribe and comment. Yes, I have done the video very quickly. Instagram is there. We're going to be smashing stuff up on Twitter. Just all of the social medias. Thank you for tuning in. This is Tiny Tom Logan. Big dings! because I have already done some testing. <laughs> big, big dings, dong. Love you, sis.